Hello all, it's, um, it's the first time for the channel, but not a first time for me. This is Ocean Colour Scene with the Riverboat song. Let's listen to it, and uh, we'll talk about it later. Stick around, guys. Great, isn't it? It's playing to scales. Ding, 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 ding. It just sounds easy, right? Saying it like that, try and do it. This song was released in 1996 from the album Mosley Shoulders, as you can see. Um, but the song, it, it's complicated. But the music, it, oh, it's so cool. Um, this album was so popular. This band were so big in that era, and we'll talk about what that era was and who it included later on, but let's just listen to some more of the song and get a feel for it and listen to the great music that I know is coming. Yeah, stick with it, guys. Don't leave. Do not leave. such a great song and I've forgotten how good it was in that time in 96 you had this whole in the UK you had this cool Britannia where it was assumed a lot of bands sold out because they met with our Prime Minister at the time to talk about this cool Britannia explosion around the world you had Blur and Oasis and all these other bands great bands like the Charlatans and the Stone Roses and all those that the Stone Roses preceded most of them to be fair but there was just this real new energy coming out of the Northwest, just like as much as you did with the Mersey Beach sound in the 50s and 60s of the Northwest of Liverpool. Um, you had this Manchester explosion, you had the Happy Mondays, you had uh, New Order. They were all in and around that concoction of sound, if you like. 
and these guys were a, a major part of that time. And they did play Glastonbury in 2000, but this is a great album. Go and listen to it. But, but the song, the lyrics are almost so complicated, I've not got a clue what he's talking about, so I'm having to keep listening. Yeah, when I would listen to it in 96, I would have just loved the sound. Because you can hear him going, da, 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 da. He does it himself. Da, 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 da. It, it, it's, it's got that contagious beat and rhythm. Basically, he's playing the scales with some leads going in. The drum and bass line is cool. Damien Manchella's on bass. And there is a story behind him, but that's another story on Ocean Colors scene. Let's stick to the song. So you had that Blur thing and Blur and, Blur and Oasis. So Blur with this avant-garde band, this so, sort of, as Oasis would have said, this pseudo-intellectual band, which is not true. They are intellectual, full stop. But that was the argument going on. It was great because you had bands competing for being top of the pops when it meant something, you know, when single sales meant something. So this was the whole explosion at the time, and this is a great song. So you have to remember the context of where this song was coming from, and it did sound different. It really did. Yeah, it sat within that genre, but had its own unique sound. This song is lovely musically. Lovely lyrically, I ain't so sure yet. Yeah, but just let's listen to some more. Stick with me, guys. <laughs> quite beatlesque on the fade out right you had lots of post-production stuff going on there i'd love to know how that was live done if the sound engineers would have had some you know putting in the sound behind would have been quite difficult great song musically some great lead stuff going on and, and i'm not a musician rick beato is the guy for that and i love his channel but i can give you the basics of what i perceive them the plane to scale, it sounds like it's in 4-4-4-2 four, 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 timing. Um, and the drums, it's driving it through, but it's not over the top. Quite heavy on the fours. Boom, dum, 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 dum. So there's a lot of double foot movement going on. But really, really just a great piece of music. Then you go into the song itself, the way he sings vocally. He's never always up. He's... he's He's not got a high register, he's, he's singing and it's cool, but it's quite bluesy. You know what I mean? He's staying within a, a range that's comfortable to him, I suspect. I don't think he's a soprano, you know, he's not belting out an opera song. I see double up ahead where the riverboat swayed beneath the sun is where the river runs red. Like a king who stalks wings, stalks the wings and shoots a dove and frees an eagle instead. It's got that, it's got that sort of haiku feel to it, that poetry. Dun, 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 dun. So they're, he's singing to the beat of the song, which is good. And like the best and worst of thoughts that lose control before you lie on your bed. 
this could be just a song of, for me it feels like it's more or less the same as the things that you said I think he's having a conversation with himself looking at his life and the mess at, when he takes the turns why does the river run red why does the river not run green and it's no matter what happens, it all ends up in either a good place or a bad place, yeah? Where the river boat swayed beneath the sun is where the river runs red. I see double, that's my trouble. It could be... I don't think it's about... Drugs. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me down, YouTube. This could be bordering on a mental health issue. You know, that real state of chaos. But it's also about the individual choices you make. And that you are in control of your own destiny. So have the conversation with yourself. But it's also really complicated. And if it's overcomplicated, the music makes up for it. And the lyrics are interesting. They at least flow. They're not just freedom of consciousness, make no sense. You know, like Black Hole Sun, which is a great song, but it's definitely a freedom of consciousness. Yeah, he just, he, that's how he wrote it. Um, it's just a cool song. Anyway, guys, that's my first look at Ocean Colour Scene, a band that I liked. Haven't listened to them since about 99, so that's a new one for me. He, go and check out their album. I think I'll put the link to it below. And until next time, guys, enjoy. Take care. See you soon.